Hello everyone, Earl Henderson, Primordial Defense. Thank you for watching. This video is going to be about inspecting your life safety equipment and holster failures. So, um, last, actually it wasn't last year um, that I did it. It was uh, 2020 that I had, it was, I want to say it's like August or September, I can't remember which, but um, that part of 2021, I'm sorry, 2020, I ordered a inside of the waistband holster from a company. I don't know, I'm not going to name the company. And uh, they had a very long wait time. And um, they had such a long wait time that they even started offering expedite. Like, hey, if you pay extra money, then we can ship it quicker to you. So it, it literally took a whole freaking year for them to get me my holster. So order it, 2020, order it in 2020, and it shows up in 2021. Finally get the damn thing. And then I wanted to have a person I know who makes holsters basically make the same one and um, they did uh, they're very similar to each other and um, I did a video on this too and we talked about the kydex um, how that material is basically the same between manufacturer and manufacturer because they all use some of the very uh, same few vendors who sell these sheets of kydex well there's companies that sell these sheets of Kydex, and then there are companies that sell pieces of hardware that go onto these Kydex holsters after they've been heated up and molded or uh, formed around a, a gun-shaped mold. And then, um, <clears throat> I don't know how many different companies there are that, that, me that make these little uh, hardware pieces, but you know, you got companies that make these little metal clips, they make plastic clips, they make uh, <clears throat> these uh, struts and these soft loops and, and all kinds of stuff. So And, they, and little screws and the grommets and stuff that, that go with it. Uh, like I said, I don't know how many companies there are that make that, but there's quite a few of them. Well, so uh, you may have your, your favorite holster company, XYZ, whatever their, their freaking name is. Um, it's highly unlikely that they make their own little soft loops and their own little snaps and stuff and uh, the little struts. They buy that from someone. And then they'll they'll take this Kydex stuff, they'll heat it up, wrap it around a mold, and then trim all the excess stuff off, mold it, and then take these little pieces they bought from somewhere else and, and put it on there. So I say all that to say that it's not necessarily the holster manufacturer's fault that these things break is whoever makes these little pieces and um, these things can fail over time so I have a, a part of that video that I talked about um, that order I'd also ordered some replacement uh, loops for another holster of mine and that other holster was um, an old school uh, blade tech inside the waistband holster and the the loops on them they were rubber loops and over time they had basically like dry rotted right and um they just you know disintegrated and fell apart blade tech makes really good products so um it's not blade tech's fault that that thing failed it's the company who produced the um the loop thing you know Whatever, and, and, and that kind of material that was being used, like there is a shelf life on that kind of stuff. And there is a shelf life on duty gear uh, or life saving gear. So I have some other videos on here um, for some products from Safari Land Company. Safari Land Company is pretty much almost like the gold standard when it comes to duty gear. Uh, they make very great holsters, very great pouches, and holsters and, and belts and stuff. But none of this stuff is indestructible. Uh, it can fail at some point. So um, that's why you need to inspect your life-saving equipment from time to time. 
and, and that was what I was doing with this particular holster. Now, at what point um, failure started to occur, I don't know, because it's not like I was checking it like once a week or anything like that. Um, but um, at time of recording, it is, what is today? It's May 3rd right now. And so it was actually end of April when this happened. Um, I just now <laughs> been so busy, haven't had time to do a, a video on it. But um, it's May 3rd right now. So at some point within the last couple months, it started to fail. And um, at what point, I, I really don't know. So um, I, I got it. Um, in play sometime around Septemberish, August or Septemberish of uh, last year. So it hasn't even made it uh, a one full year mark yet of being in use. But uh, it did fail. And so what I had noticed was it was just slightly off a little bit. Like there was like a little a bend to it. And I'd reached down and I, trying to recreate what I did. Um, I just apply some pressure to it this way, and then it went snap, <laughs> came completely off. I said, "Well, shit." Um, and this is not the greatest camera to utilize. <clears throat> it doesn't autofocus very well, but that uh, that bend right there in the strut. So that is where it has failed, and this one is actually failing too. I just uh, held off on breaking it um, so that I could end up breaking it on camera. Now unfortunately this camera will not uh, focus in anymore. Oops. But the crack is right. I'm using a, let me find something with a more finer point to it. So the uh, the the end of the ink pen right there. So that uh, right there is the crack, and it runs along right there, goes to the screw itself, and then goes that away. So I don't know if this is an issue of the screw being over tightened, or if this thing being worn and it doing this as I'm out and about on my daily basis just uh you know body movement and everything and and just the almost daily taking this on and off just you know put it on in the morning take it off in the evening put it on in the morning off in the evening um this isn't an, an edc holster and when i say edc it's it's edc it's not like i will put this thing on um once or twice a week or only put it on weekends when I go out or whatever like it's it's an, it's an everyday thing if I'm not in uniform I'm I'm wearing this thing so it truly is EDC and like I said I don't know if it was from just the the continuous wearing and and moving of it or if perhaps um, it was tightened too tightly um, at this screw point right here because you can maybe Maybe if I can well, maybe it's not gonna focus too well. But you can kind of see that screw right there in the middle. You can actually see the screw itself, so it's kind of open right there in the middle. So it's either A, tighten them down too much, uh, or just the constant wear and movement of it has caused it to, to fail. And so and I I wish that I could um be able to show this more scientifically about the amount of force being exerted on it some type of gauge or whatever i don't have anything but i'm just going to put some light pressure on this strut right here and we'll see um you know there you go like it that was hardly any force whatsoever and it snapped so that would have really sucked if um I got into a fight and rolling around on the ground and put enough stress on those and then they snapped. If that had happened, then since this is inside the waistband holster, what likely would have happened is the gun would have went swoop down the down the pants, down the pant leg and, and got stuck within my pants somewhere and made it either extremely 
difficult and if not impossible to get to my gun to do a in-flight weapons access to it. Or it could have went bloop out that way and fell out of the pants and roll around on the ground and then my adversary be more uh, able to easily get their hands on it and potentially use it against me. So always check your life safety equipment to make sure that it is in good working order. Make sure that the screws are still tight and everything. Nothing has backed loose or backed out on itself. Sometimes with uh, the soft loops, the problems here is sometimes these screws get loose and so then the soft loop can just at one point just fall out. Um, so you got to check, make sure the screws are tight and stuff like that because sometimes things work their way out. And then inspect these plastic pieces because, you know, plastic and rubbers, they will degrade over time and they will break. And like I said, this holster has not even been in use for an entire year and it has already had a failure at a critical uh, point, two critical points. Like I said, if they said, if I've been in a, a ground fight and these had snapped, it would have sucked if I had to have to go to my gun. So uh, check your equipment. It's life safety equipment. If you don't check it, then it can't save your life. If you like what you hear and see, go ahead and give me a like and a share. If you have not already, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. Earl Henderson, Primordial Defense. Thank you for watching.